done and um, worked in just pretty much every opportunity that I had. I, um, I would sit in my floor and clip coupons for about five or six hours a day. Um, we, uh, I had got my grocery bill to about $100 a month with two kids in diapers. Um, it takes a lot of work to do that. <laughs> and um, my husband was donating plasma every week um, just to help. And it was just barely enough. And I don't like just barely getting by. And I was so stressed all the time. If anything would happen, something happened with the kids or blow out a tire. Um, I just don't like that feeling. And um, so I started cleaning houses. That was something I could do and work with our schedule a little bit. And so I would um, drag myself out of bed at about 6.30 in the morning. And uh, when my husband would get home around at 7, I would go. I would clean a few houses and come home. And we just kind of did it, revolved it that way. But it, it, it gave us a little bit of relief. But um, I got a phone call from a lady one day that had um, called me to clean her house. And that was the first time I saw a thriver <laughs> and um, I went in her home and I saw this lady wearing a patch on her leg um, but more than that I um, I saw a glimpse I guess of a different kind of life that I wasn't living and that I wanted so desperately and I would go in her house every week and um, this was something and this is why I preach to my team vision boards so much because I would not be here standing here today if I had not seen a vision board. And I am. Um, you know, I want to not interrupt you, but I want to say something that made me go, okay, I can't look at you when you were talking because I, I was about to just bawl. But you said in front of the room, she cleaned, she was cleaning houses, but there was one house a week that she would clean and she got to go there and dream while she was cleaning. And she would love to go to that house and clean and dream because she saw the vision board, but she didn't know anything about Lavelle or Thrive. Yes. Um, I would go and her her boards happened to be in her bathroom on poster, poster boards. And I would go over there and I would clean her bathroom and um, I would read those boards. And, um, you know, she had this Escalade out in her yard that was free. Uh, she, and, you know, all this stuff. And I, I you know, I, that kind of stuff was never really for me. Uh, it wasn't free to join. It wasn't any of those things. It was always going to cost me a lot more money uh, than I was going to ever get anything in return. So um, I didn't have enough brains, I guess, or smarts, or I felt like I knew the right people uh, for those kinds of things. But um, I went in there, and um, there were things on that board that... I could not get out of my mind. There were things on there written down that said time freedom. It said financial freedom. It said, um, I got my happy back. And I wanted my happy back because I felt like I lost that a few years before that. And um, it said revolve my life and my, and my job around my children. And it said debt free. And it had all these things that when I would go home and I would go to bed at night on those Thursdays that I would come home from her house, I couldn't, I could not get out, get it out of my mind. Uh, I would lay there and I started dreaming again. You know, you get to a place in your life where you feel like your your dreams and the things that you have for your family will never come true. And I was getting to that place in my life. So I got brave enough to ask her one day what that patch was on her leg, and she so graciously gave me a week of the product. She educated me, uh, told me what it was going to do, and told me specifically, you need to check out this Lavelle fan page. And so I did. Um, I was that mom that didn't really sleep at night. <laughs> I was so exhausted, and I didn't sleep anyway. And so instead of that night playing you know, games on my phone, I checked out that fan page. And I saw different people, um, and different people of different walks of life. And there were people that reminded me of me. They were brunettes. They had kids. Uh, they had two and three year olds. It was like every story that they had shared that day was moms of toddlers that got their happy back. And I just kept seeing that phrase. <laughs> and I just went to bed that night. And for the first time in a long time, I felt like I had some hope. I laid there and I just said, why not me? Why can't I do that? If this happens for these people, why can't it happen for me and my family? What if? That was the thing that kept running in my mind. Just what if? What if this is that thing that we've been praying for and we've been needing some help? I took the product exactly the way she told me to. We got you. We know it works. 
I went from being a very, um, very sad mom to someone who was excited about life again. But here was the thing, was um, the Thrive Experience would have been our second largest bill in our, house, in our family. Our house bill, my grocery bill was not that much, so it would have been our second largest bill. We had a very old car, that, so we didn't have a car payment, but the bumper was screwed on, so it wasn't a whole lot to be proud of. Um, and so it um, definitely, that was going to be an issue. But after a week of being on the product, I remember, I remember that moment. I was sitting with my husband, and we were sitting in our living room, and I said, I just don't know if we can do this. And I remember my husband telling me, he said, babe, this is the you that we deserve. This is the you the kids deserve. This is the you that I deserve. And this is the you that you deserve. And I always felt like I couldn't, I guess, put myself first. You know, we feel as moms, we always get, get the leftovers. And I just thought, you know what? I do deserve this. <laughs> and um, I picked up an extra house that week, made a little extra money. My husband made sure to go donate plasma that week, and I bought my first month of product. And I have never been the same. Um, it was amazing how it just got better and better and better. And my discomforts and things that I struggled with were going away and I was actually able to play in the floor with my kids and start running again and wake up in the morning and actually like what I see and like myself again. And so um, God just knew that we needed this in our lives at the right time. And we'd always had dreams about a lot of things, but they were always going to be maybe in 10 years. We lived in a double wide trailer. Um, that was what we could afford. But about three weeks ago, we bought our dream home. We don't drive that car anymore. Many times I walked out to do a team call and I literally walked out my driveway and I looked at my Lexus and it was worth more than my house was. So we, got, we, don't have, we have two vehicles that are paid for in about um, 10 months during a time that was very hard in our life. When I had spoken to Paul um, that year ago, we had hit 40K, but it was so um, such a big deal to us because my husband was, um, was not working and he was out of a job. And he was out of a job for 10 months. And um, it was during that time that we hit 200K in about 10 months. Um, and I'm just so thankful that there's something like this, that there can be something where I can stand here and I'm literally nobody and nobody special at all i'm just a mom of two beautiful girls but we have a product that changes lives we really do and if we don't get it to them someone is and i think there's so many opportunities those what ifs those why nots and i guess if i could just tell anybody if i can do this anybody in this room can do this no question about it so take it excuses or doubts you have in your mind, put them out and just do it because this can literally be the thing that completely changes your future, your family. I'm thankful every day that I sat there and my husband said, you deserve this, we're going to do this because we wouldn't be here today if my husband hadn't just said, let's just do this and we're a huge part of this, we're a team and work together. And so um, last month we, um, we closed out over 400K, we are hoping to be half a million this month. people like me. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? What are you doing tomorrow? I'm doing a Vegas video shoot. <laughs> what time? It's Sunday and it's nine something. Tomorrow's Saturday. Our right. shoot is on Sunday. I think you need a $2,000 shopping spree at Nordstrom's. She said, then I'm shopping tomorrow. Shopping tomorrow.